there's going to be something called the Firearms and Fashion Show at uh, Chicago's Firewater Saloon. And I'm reading this uh, in pertinent part from uh, Carol Marine's column uh, over the weekend in the Sun-Times. Two women sponsor this. One is former Chicago police officer Karen Bartuch of Alpha Girls, a website for, quote, ass-kicking, gun-slinging, F-the-status-quo chicks who dominate like a boss. <laughs> The other is Marilyn Smolensky of Nickel and Lace, which makes a concealed carry holster that doubles as shapewear with detachable garters. Now, uh, Carol Marine uh, then went on to ridicule this uh, enterprise, especially in view of the fact that recently a 14-year-old girl was shot and killed by another 14-year-old girl who will, quote, never grow up to be a woman, unquote, according to Carol Marine. With, with a gun that I think was illegally transferred four times. Well, I mean, we should be ashamed of ourselves for you know, carrying uh, weapons uh, in our, uh, the new Puritanism. We are joined in the studio right now uh, by Karen Bartuch and Marilyn Smolensky. So thanks for coming in this morning. Thank you for having us. Thanks for having us. And uh, so you were ridiculed in this uh, column by uh, Carol Marine, uh, who basically says you know you should not uh, be fashionable. Tell us a little bit about the fashions that you have, uh, Marilyn, uh, for and, and why do, does somebody need this? Well, I have a concealed carry holster, and um, it's basically for subcompacts for on-body carry. Uh, now that concealed carry is legal in the state of Illinois, I believe that we need to bring more options to, to women here in the city and, and in the state. And you've got uh, women, I mean, before the concealed carry decisions came down, you had women in terms of uh, applying for FOIA cards. It was an explosion. That was like the fastest growing segment of FOIA card holders in the state. And so now, you, do you, are you seeing a transition where those same women who got FOIA cards are wanting to get their right to keep their concealed carry permit? Absolutely. I, I know that there's only been 12% um, of the uh, concealed carry uh, ha applications have been women, but that number is growing steadily. And yes, the women are the, the fastest growing demographic in uh, the shooting sports and in uh, you know, getting their FOIA cards. And, uh, we're really excited to to bring more women on board. So, what's the response to uh, an arch leftist like Carol Marine who wants to ban guns when she, you know she talks to you and and kind of attacks you guys for what you're doing, consistent with what uh, women want to do? I think her comments are are really unfortunate, and I really just don't understand why she wants to demonize legal gun owners. Um, yeah, and what we're doing has absolutely nothing to do with the violence in the city of Chicago. And that's the way she's portraying it, is that legal, law-abiding citizens that want to exercise their Second Amendment rights are also gang-banging thugs, thug murderers, and that's right. obviously not the case. Well, what she says is, is I mean, you, you don't want these unsightly bulges uh, with, with the guns, and, I mean, shouldn't you be embarrassed to be carrying a weapon? I mean, you're Neanderthals, aren't you? For carrying weapons. So she's for open carry then. Yes, that's, that's, that was my reaction. Again, too. again with the sarcasm. Using, using her sarcasm yeah. against her. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But, but I mean, the real comparison she makes is you two to a convicted felon uncle who provided that 14 year old girl with a gun. That's the real comparison she's making. Yeah, absolutely. And it was actually an outrage. We've gotten nothing but positive press and media about this show because actually, although it's kitschy and kind of fun and we're having fashion and. You but, know, but don't you understand? It's not. Fun to carry a weapon, according to yeah, Carol Marine. The, she, she's the nanny of the planet. Don't yeah. you understand? So, so you cannot look good uh, with a weapon. It, it should be an unsight. It should be a, a, a cumbersome thing to carry around. Well, we don't know what Carol has against women being empowered or being able to defend themselves. Yeah. It's, it's well, offensive that 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 she thinks that way. Yeah, it'd be it'd be interesting too, especially as a former police officer. I'd lo love to see Carol Marine. Um, some of the other politicians, and she's effectively a politician in this city, uh, go live in Inglewood, yeah. or or come home late on an L, L train from work, and uh, you know ha maybe have to defend themselves whether they want to or not. Yeah, I'm sure she has people that protect her with her. But I mean, it's typical of the left wing to cause fear and report inaccurately just to push their own agenda. And so the response from your this particular way of uh, of enlisting people who want to, to, to exercise their right to carry out the response been to the fashion shows? It's been excellent. We're almost sold out. This is our second year doing it. We did it last year when Concealed Carry was not approved, and that show was a blowout success, and I think the show is going to be even better thanks to Carol Marine. Could you not say blowout either? Again, yeah, I know. Uh, sorry. Yeah. No pun intended. I'm very sensitive here. <laughs> uh, I, I think it's just that we hear a lot. You're a former Chicago police officer. Yes. We hear a lot from Gary McCarthy. Uh, in Rahm Emanuel about guns, and, and I wonder what the attitude of rank-and-file Chicago police officers that we don't hear 
people that you used to interact with daily, what, what's their attitude towards private gun ownership, even concealed carry? Well, I think it's a misnomer that people think that police are against guns. Actually, there was a study done by police1.com just recently that showed that most police officers are in favor of concealed carry for citizens. That'll actually help decrease violence and keep the neighborhood safer if the citizens are able to protect themselves. Don't you think you should have to squirrel away your gun inside a purse with all those other things that you gals have? Like yeah, you do. Purses. Yeah. yeah, and, and <laughs> so it's actually concealed from yourself so that you yeah. cannot easily have access to so it. So clearly she's showing that she knows nothing about guns, nothing about self-protection, nothing about muscle memory or how to shoot anything by saying what she's saying. What, what about the, the, the stigmatization of guns, particularly among women? We hear all the time about suburban soccer moms and how they recoil at any politician who is supportive of Second Amendment rights. What do you have to say to, to, to women in particular who may still carry this uh, stereotype of guns? Well, that's exactly what we're trying to dispel with the firearms and fashion show by bringing together a traditional topic of fashion with a non-traditional topic and show that it's not scary, it can be fun, it is functional, especially in some places like the city of Chicago. All right, well, we're going to tell everybody, we're going to plug your event here. Awesome. And again, I, I should chide myself for using the plug right here. You can, uh, <laughs> and, and, and you can, you can attend just for the fashion. Show. No, and, 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 yeah. and, and I'm, I'm, I'm urging people to attend, but, but with a grimace, uh, okay? The uh, Firearms and Fashion Show uh, at 5.30 on Saturday at the Firewater Saloon in Edison Park, 6689 North Oliphant Avenue. For tickets, go to eventbrite.com and search Firearms and Fashion Show. Marilyn Smolensky and Karen Bartuch, thanks Thank uh, you so, so much. much for yeah. yes. And uh, you may, have we had no guns on in here? I hope you didn't bring anything in. We'll okay. Never know. <laughs> Thank you. There you go.